Good morning. Good morning. So uh, my name is John Gates, and I am a partner with a management consulting firm called Avion Consulting. And this morning, I'd like to talk with all of you about a book that some colleagues and I have written. Uh, the book is titled How Leaders Improve, and the authors are myself, Jeff Grady, and Sasha Lindekins. And for starters, I'd just like to talk with you a little bit about uh, why and how we wrote this book. So we are leadership development professionals. Uh, in fact, uh, years ago, uh, I wrote both my master's thesis and my doctoral dissertation on the topic of leadership. And I've spent the better part of the last 20 years actually working with leaders in order to help them develop. And over the course of my career, I've periodically been asked, uh, so John, are you gonna write a book on leadership? Or John, when are you gonna write a book on leadership? And quite candidly, I've never really had all that much interest in writing a book on leadership or on anything for that matter. And there are a number of reasons for that, but really what it boils down to is I thought, you know, there are already a million books out there on leadership. Why write another one? And then a few years ago, a question came to mind, and my colleagues and I started talking about this question. And the question turned into an idea for a study and then the study turned into an idea for a book. And we finally started taking this idea of writing a book, or at least doing a study, kind of seriously. So we started uh, by, by thinking about, okay, has anybody else asked this particular question? The question was, how do leaders improve? Now that might seem like a pretty simple question, because as I just pointed out, there's a whole field called leadership development and there are a million books out there on leadership. So you would think that somebody has written a book on how leaders improve. But as we delved into this question, we started to notice something really interesting. And that is, it seems like there are indeed a million books out there on some variation of the question, what makes a leader good? Or what makes a leader great? But there's practically nothing, amazingly, on the question, how do leaders actually get better? Let me illustrate this. Uh, I have a morning reading routine. It's a routine I go through most mornings where there's this online source of news articles and professional articles, and I read through this stuff most mornings. And one of the things I look for every morning is to see, all right, what, what are the latest articles on the topic of leadership? And since we started taking this study seriously, I've been paying particular attention to those articles and the content of those articles, the titles of those articles, let me show you a few examples of such uh, articles just from the last few months. If you look at this list, the one thing you might notice is that these are all very reputable publica publications. So Inc. Magazine, Fortune, Harvard Business Review, and so on. Another thing you might notice is if you, if you look at the titles, the five traits that define great leadership, three tips for being a truly great leader, and so on, they all, all have something to do with what it takes to be a great leader or what it takes to be a successful leader or uh, what it takes in order to stand out as a leader. But I think that's a separate question from how do leaders actually get better, okay? Here's an example. Suppose I read one of these articles and I conclude that, okay, one thing great leaders do is they're great at being strategic and visionary. And so I decide, you know what, that's an area in which I would like to improve. I think I need to be more strategic and visionary. Now I've decided what my goal is, the area in which I want to improve, but the whole question of how do I actually get better in that or any area related to leadership is a totally different question. So we started deciding, hey, we wanna you know, really take this study seriously. And one of the reasons we thought it was important to do this study was that organizations, the clients that we work with and, and other organizations invest in this stuff heavily. In fact, there was an article published in a very reputable publication uh, last year, it's called the McKinsey Quarterly, and the author was a guy named Jeffrey Pfeffer who's a noted leadership expert. And one of the many interesting things from this article was he pointed out that between 14 and $50 billion is invested in leadership development uh, every year just in the United States. So companies invest heavily in this stuff, and it makes sense to me that if organizations are investing so heavily in efforts to develop their leaders, there ought to be something on how leaders actually get better. So we decided to take this study very seriously and uh, one of the things we need to figure out was, okay, what is our approach to this study gonna be? And uh, we turned to a fantastic business book as sort of our inspiration for how we were gonna approach the study. It's the book, Good to Great by Jim Collins. 
And anywhere we go in the world uh, consulting to different organizations, anytime we mention this book, Good to Great by Jim Collins, uh, invariably one or more people will say, yeah, that's my favorite business book or that's one of my favorite business books. And I think one of the things that people love about Collins' book is that Jim Collins didn't just say, hmm, I think I'll write a book on how companies go from good to great based on my own thoughts and my own experience. That's not what he did. What Collins did was he started with data. In other words, he started by identifying companies that had actually gone from good to great in terms of a measure of performance. And then he asked the question, how did they do that? How did they go from good to great? So my colleagues and I started wondering, well, is there a comparable book in the field of leadership? One that starts with a data set, leaders who have actually improved over time, and which then seeks to answer the question, well, how did they do that? How, how did they actually improve over time? So that was the method that we used. And uh, that resulted in uh, the book that uh, we have uh, now got uh, written, and this will be published in late October. And one thing I want to make clear is that you know, we're not, we're not being at all critical of the existing literature out there on leadership. My iPad and, and bookshelves are full of literally hundreds of excellent books on leadership, and we draw on these books all the time. So there's lots of great stuff out there. But at one point, we came to the conclusion that the particular study that we had in mind had not been done, at least not using the methods that we had in mind, all right? So in short, uh, we went from feeling like we would never write a book to feeling like we actually had to write a book. 